I'm Charles Barrett. Would you like to know how I'm so incredibly relaxed? A combination of Buddhism and Hinduism have brought me to a point of nirvana and moksha. What are these incredible things, you may ask? Well, the two very closely related religions, Hinduism and Buddhism, each have a goal. For Hinduism, it's to reach moksha, basically the Hindu version of heaven. And for Buddhism, enlightenment. These both are equal to life without suffering or pain. Now to achieve either of these things is where the requirements change. To be Hindu and look to get to moksha, you must lead an incredibly selfless life and commit many good deeds. Hindus believe in karma, which means if you do good things, good things will happen to you, and if you do bad things, bad things will happen to you. This comes to play when the body dies and goes through reincarnation. Hindus believe that if you led a nice life, you will be reincarnated as something nice, like a human again, or an animal. But if you led a morally bad life, you will be reincarnated as something bad, like a rock. And to end the cycle of reincarnation, you have to lead an incredibly selfless life, and that will bring you to moksha. On the other hand, when you are a Buddhist and wish to reach nirvana, you must become enlightened or find wisdom. Some Buddhists reach enlightenment through meditation, what you saw me doing earlier. You must also follow the Eightfold Path, which includes right views, right resolve, right speech, right conduct, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. I know this seems like a lot, but the reward is a release from all pain and suffering and to find nirvana. Now you're probably wondering, where did all this stuff come from? Well, Buddhism was started by a man named Siddhartha Gautama, who only seeked wisdom, or as I referred to it earlier, enlightenment. So he decided to sit down under a tree and meditate as I was when you first saw me. Siddhartha sat under the tree for 49 days and found his answer. He was fully enlightened and he was to be called Buddha. Like Hinduism, Buddha taught that the soul would be reborn into a new life. These teachings attracted a lot of people, especially the lower class of India. These people saw this new religion as a chance to escape from the limits of their lives. Hundreds of years after Buddha died, Buddhism faded in India, but popped up in Southeast Asia, then spread to Korea and Japan, and is now one of the world's largest religions. Unlike Buddhism, Hinduism had no point of origin. It has no exact creator, nor exact beginning. The religion it believes itself to have always existed. So as you can see, Hinduism has a much less complex beginning than Buddhism. Although Hinduism's beginning was more vague, it is currently the religion of 80.2% of India. So as you can see, these closely related religions have many amazing beliefs and an incredible history. So if you wish to have a peaceful life without desire, join Buddhism or Hinduism today.